Now let's say that you have a YouTube channel or you're an expiring YouTuber and you want to start up a channel, but you don't have the money to invest into these expensive cameras like a camcorder or a DSLR or mirrorless camera. But what if I told you that you have like an iPhone 7 Plus like what I'm using or an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10 and you have an Apple Watch that you can use your iPhone the good cameras on it to produce video content for YouTube. Well, I'm going to tell you all about that coming right up. Okay, now this entire episode right now is being shot on my iPhone 7 Plus and I'm using the rear facing cameras. Now one of the biggest problems when you use the rear facing cameras, which by the way are the best cameras that are on the iPhone, the problem is you can't see what you're recording. And you don't want to use the other side because the other side, well, it'll give you this kind of an image quality. Now this is using the camera on the front face of the iPhone. And yes, you can look at the screen and you can see your composition. Like I can move the camera over just a little bit. So rule of thirds, eyeball in that third. But the problem is the quality of that camera on the front of the phone is not as good as the quality of the dual cameras on the back of the iPhone. And like I said, when you flip the camera around or you flip your phone around, the problem is you can't see what it is that you're recording. But there is a little quick, easy solution for that, especially if you have the Apple Watch. Okay, so now I'm back to the actual rear facing cameras. If you have the Apple Watch, now I've got the Apple 3, there is a cool little program on there and it comes with the watch and it gives you live preview of what the camera sees on your iPhone. Now all you've got to do is go into your app settings or your little app dial, hit that top little button right there and it will automatically turn on the camera to your iPhone and this way you can compose your shot. So when I look at this shot, this is what I see. Pretty neat, huh? I get to see exactly how the shot is framed and then you can use an external microphone like I'm using. I'm using, of course, my Blue Yeti because I just like the audio quality that comes out of it. But it's just a nice little tip that I wanted to share with you that if you have an iPhone and you want to be able to use those rear facing cameras, which are the best cameras, there is a way if you happen to have an Apple Watch. Now, I'm not saying you should have your iPhone, which already cost you through the nostrils, and go out and go buy the Apple Watch just for this one feature. But if you happen to have an iPhone 7 Plus or above, and you happen to have an Apple Watch, why would you not be able to use this to be able to compose your shots? And that way, you don't have to worry about not being able to see what's on the back side of the screen on how you are in the image. You get to see it straight from the Apple Watch. So, like I said, just a nice little tidbit to pass along to those. Uh, many people don't know about it, and if you did know about it, thumbs up to you. If you didn't know about it, hey, two thumbs up, because now you do. And if you like this video and you thought that this was informative, give me a thumbs up. Make a comment below what you think about it. And also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today and click that bell because guess what? It notifies you every time I upload a video. So this wasn't really a tech review of anything, but then again, it is a tech informative video to let you know something that you have that you may not even know the features that you can use it with on your YouTube channel. Hope you guys have yourself a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.